Acknowledge dispatch. 3 William 56 resuming sector patrol. Status normal. So anyways, like I was saying, last night I was watching one of those vintage police shows that came out in the late 20th century. It was called T.J. Hooker. I'm really liking it so far. There are about five seasons in total, and I'm about halfway through the fourth season. Don't scoff. That is too what it's really called. I couldn't make that up. It was broadcasted in the early 1980s, and it was one of those so-bad-it's-good kind of shows. The acting and the action were way over the top, but I thought that only added to how great it was. There were explosions and car chases. The main character jumps on rooftops and moving cars and even trains. No projectile armor, no tactical visor. They didn't even have a GPS. How could they navigate around a city without that, I'd like to know. They never once looked at a map. I looked for one because that's what I thought too. I mean, I suppose they could have just memorized a city map, but that seems like it would add way too many chances for human error. Maybe people back then just knew their way around better. That's true. Cities probably were smaller back then. I think I remember reading something about that in school. One of the officers in the show was using a pad of paper and a pencil to take statements. It was like watching something from medieval times. If that's really what it was like for law enforcement back then, then I have to tip my propeller to them. Anyways, I did some research on the main character. It turns out that he was... Hold on, partner. Looks like I got another speeder. Moving to confirm. Confirmed. Their present speed is 35 miles per hour. And the speed limit on their current street and heading is 25 miles per hour. How many does that make today? Four? Five? Updating your GPS with the location of the vehicle. Okay, partner, I have you both in my sights. It looks like they are about to hit some traffic up ahead. And they are maintaining their current speed. Looks like they see you now. Their speed just decreased to 32, 29, 25, 23. Sorry, speedster. Too little, too late. Dispatch, this is 3 William 56, 1195. Engaged in traffic stop on the 250,000 block of Magnolia and Sunset, Sector 7G. Activating drone surveillance sensors, vehicle has two male occupants, both approximate age, mid to late 20s. Their vitals look normal, heart rate steady, pulse is average, and they don't appear to be nervous. Acknowledged partner driver is cooperating with requests. Looks like a routine traffic stop. Pan your visor over the driver's license and I'll run a scan. Everything okay, partner? Why are you headed back towards the patrol cruiser? You have a bad feeling about those two, huh? Okay, let me pull up the video from your visor cam. Mm -hmm. I'm running a facial recognition scan of the passenger through our ID database. I'm also seeing that the driver has a tattoo on their left wrist. 
I'll run that through our gang symbol identification program. I'll also start running a scan on the vehicle's ID plate. If there's anything out of place, I'll find it. Thanks, partner. To be honest, it impresses me too sometimes how many things I'm able to do at once. Being good at multitasking is the most important part of the job. The test to get into the time pilot program was one of the most stressful things I've ever had to do. And the training was even worse. At first it was like trying to play three keyboards at once. Now it's so second nature to me, I find that I can't just do one thing at a time anymore. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Hardy har har, partner. No, I don't work on two puzzles at the same time, and it's that kind of talk that can get someone uninvited to my first annual TJ Hooker marathon party. Scans are complete. Sorry, partner, but there isn't anything unusual about them. No outstanding warrants, no previous criminal history or gang affiliation, and the vehicle also checks out. So what's the play here? Yes, actually, there is another scan I can run. It's a chemical decay test, but it's not likely to be very informative. I'll need to drop altitude and get in line of sight of the vehicle. I'll also have to be relatively close. You got it, partner. I'll run the scan. Moving into scanning range and position. Drone is in position, running scan. Just an FYI, if this doesn't work, there isn't much more we can do unless we get a warrant. Whoa. Passenger's pulse just quickened. His heart rate also went up. He's talking to the driver, but I can't make out what they're saying. Maybe I should deploy the audio surveillance device. Whatever they're talking about has made the driver lose his composure, too. His pulse and heart rate have jumped up. I think you're right, partner. Something isn't right here. Scan complete. Analyzing. Well. Well, well, looks like there are unusually high traces of nitroglycerin, magnesium oxide, and potassium chloride. In layman's terms, partner, gunpowder. I think we have enough to request a warrant now. I'll submit a request to HQ for a vehicle search warrant and some backup for you. Tell the driver to hold tight. His heart rate is almost off the charts now. Suspect is fleeing. I'm on the partner. Increasing altitude, acquiring visual suspect on vehicle. Dispatched, be advised, 3 William 56, code 42. In pursuit of vehicle, heading northbound on Magnolia, approaching Decatar, requesting backup. They can't outrun us. I've alerted EMTs to be on standby just in case. They just turned eastbound on Washington, updating your GPS. Backup has been confirmed. Three other units are converging on the suspect vehicle. Police grid is now active. All vehicles in a one miles radius of pursuit area are being advised to pull over. Perp is now southbound on Oxford, bringing onboard drone weapons online. Targeting vehicle front passenger tire. Firing. Targeting rear passenger tire. Firing. Their speed is decreased and they're already having trouble maintaining control. You're clear of traffic and civilians. If you want to pit their vehicle to a stop, now would be a good time. Good job, partner. Vehicle immobilized. Backup is converging on suspects. (sighs) 
Dispatch, be advised, code 1095, both perpetrators in custody. Request detectives on site to perform search and seizure of target vehicle. So much for our routine traffic stuff, huh? I know they train you for urban combat, being under fire and things like that, but they don't really train us on how to deal with seeing our partner being put in danger. I should have been more attentive when their vitals spiked. I'm sorry. Thanks, partner. I'm going to sign off and jumpstart on the paperwork on all this. Contact me when you're in route, okay? Howdy, partner. I see that you are headed back towards HQ. Did the suspect say anything when you questioned them? They wanted a lawyer, huh? How original. Well, they are still completing the search, but it looks like that vehicle was a mule. Modified to transport goods. In this case, weapons. And I mean a lot of weapons. This was a huge bust, partner. I wouldn't be surprised if they gave you commendation for this. Don't worry, I would get one too. We are a team after all. Three William 56. Not very personal. I know that some officers get to choose their own call sign. After this big bust, maybe we should ask the captain if we could change our call sign to something else. Any ideas? That is a fantastic idea, but I don't think the captain would be very happy if we asked to change our call sign to TJ Hooker. So why don't we keep that between us? You're approaching the precinct garage now, opening doors. Welcome back. Let's grab a bite to eat and go over this paperwork. I'd like to get this done before 2 a.m. this time. I still haven't finished my marathon, after all. Thank you. 